screen. Let me get up our PowerPoint here. All right. So again, welcome today. I'm building your business. It's a little teaser for this Thursday's class, which will be on the 28th. Uh, again, part of our Do It Now series. We've already had our initial Do It Now, and now uh, our Building Your Business class is going to get deep now into helping you understand really what you should be doing now to take your business to a whole new level. So really, when you look at all of the classes that we really offer in the Do It Now series, the Building Your Business class is really probably the one of the most important. I would say not the most important, but definitely one of because of the fact that, look, at the end of the day, you're here to help, you know, really grow your business, right? To help yourself be able to take it to a whole new level. And so we're really excited about being able to now go into and go into more depth into what is really the formula for success. Now, we've discussed this many times at our Do It Now series, at our Blueprint class. You know, we always go into really the three key elements, the key, I would say, steps in order for you to be able to achieve whatever it is your definition of success is, right? So, you know, if you've heard me talk about it before in the past, you know that the first most important step is obviously focus, right? Where is your focus uh, going to be uh, going, right? Because you know that where your focus goes, your energy will flow, okay? We talk about strategy, and then, of course, we talk about taking action. Well, the building your business class is really all going to be about strategy. We're going to go into helping you understand really how to now be able to you know, go to wherever you want to go to in your, in your business, in your career. You know, do you want to close 18 transactions? Do you want to close 36 transactions? Do you want to be able to make you know, $100,000 this year? Do you want to be able to make a quarter of a million dollars, thousand dollars? How are you going to do that? You know, my, my question really is that you know, when you talk about strategy, what is it that you have as, as your strategy? What are you doing today to grow your business? Now, now think about that. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a question that a lot of times when I ask you know, somebody in a one-on-one in a, uh, -on -one setting or even a big classroom setting, you know, and, I, and you can tell that they're not 100% sure. They, they may even fib their way through it and not be direct or not be real. Well, the good thing is this is a webinar, right? So you're, you're not going to get me to really see your reaction. So you can just be open and honest with yourself. You can stare and roll your eyes. You can throw stuff down. You can do whatever you want because I can't really see you right now. I don't have your cameras set to be actually be able to be played. So what are you doing, right? What are you doing today? What have you done is to start your day so that you can go out there and grow your business? What you do at 10 a.m., what you do at at noon what you do right before this webinar so you know the answers and you have to really be honest with yourself okay what are you going to even now be able to do tomorrow or wednesday or even thursday well thursday you should be attending my class that's for sure but let's just say tomorrow wednesday even friday what are you doing to truly be able to grow your business you know how to grow your business you know what steps that you should be taking who you should be talking to, how you should be talking to different folks. So look, there's four ways that agents try and get business, right? And in the past, we really have identified as, as three, but I'm gonna kind of go out there now and add a fourth one, right? The first one, number one, is that, you know what, look, they wait and they pray for the business, right? How many of you are guilty of that? Again, I can't see you, so you can be more open and honest on, on a webinar setting than you can be in an actual classroom setting. So you can raise your hand or both hands and say, yeah, Joe, absolutely. You know what? I've been guilty of that. I've, I've got my license now active with your company for so long. I've been in real estate for how many years? I used to close, you know, X, Y, Z amount of deals a year. Now, ah, because now I just sit back and I wait. And listen, I got to admit, we all have been guilty of this at some time in our career, in our life, where we begin, become a little bit complacent. Right, we we're you know we're okay with with closing two deals this month, but then we forget about what do we got to do now to develop a pipeline for the following month, or even you know two months after that. So a lot of us fall into a trap of what we just say, you know what? Well, it's gonna come, right? It's the spring market, right? So I've just got through January and February, so I, I know that that comes March and April, things are gonna just come my way, right? And so in we've even seen agents fall into a trap of where they go in. And they get hired on by, you know, a company to come and actually work floor time. And they literally sit at the desk and they're just staring at the door, just like I'm doing right now, 
hoping somebody's going to walk in, hoping someone's going to come and say, hey, I absolutely want to do business with you because you're a realtor and you're sitting behind this desk and you're working for free as a, a free receptionist working floor time, right? That's not a way to get the business. Okay, number two, they try to go out there and buy the business. And I want to pull my hair out when I see realtors fall into this trap of, let me sign up for this Zillow account. Let me go ahead and become this premier realtor, or let me go ahead and and and, and buy leads from this source. Or, or um, many of us have probably gotten this email. I know I get a thousand of them a day. They don't realize that I'm a broker and I don't really produce. I don't actually go out there and sell real estate every day anymore. But I still get the email saying, "Hey, Joe, there's one last slot. There's one last available opening here." In this zip code, you can be the exclusive realtor today. Sign up. It's going to be X, Y, Z amount of money, right? There are realtors, okay? And listen, let's be honest. Some of you on this on this webinar today may have fallen into this trap where you want the business so bad, but you don't know what to do. You don't know how, you know, like I asked before, like how are you going to go out there and grow your business? You, you don't know. You don't put much thought into it. You don't try to work it out and you see an opportunity. You know, you know what? Let me, let me take a quick, you know, a uh, quick, easy way out. Let me subscribe to this. Let me pay for this. Can you close deals that way? Can you make can you can you make some money? Can you earn some commissions from that? Yeah, but what's the return on that? You know, I've had the opportunity now where I do a lot of one on one coaching, and I was coaching a team when we were looking into their business and understanding. You know, what are they doing to generate deals? Right? How are they how are they prospecting? How are they generating? You know, these closing. Where are they coming from? And we went in and we found that, well, they were spending, okay, X, Y, Z amount of money. Let's just call it they're spending anywhere between eight to $10,000 a month. Now, that's high end. That's a little bit higher than your normal, I would say, because this is a team now. But when we really broke it down, right, this is a four-person team, right? And they were spending about, let's just say, on the low end, $8,000, right? Well, this four-person team was making, on average, they were closing about, say, two deals a month. Right, so they're making about let's just say fourteen to fifteen thousand dollars. So let's just say let's just say they're at fifteen and they're spending eight, right? So now they're only really making seven thousand dollars. Now remember, this is a four-person team. So I was able to show them a, a way of being able to go out there, and I'm going to tease this a little bit here today. We're going to go really in depth now on Thursday in Thursday's class. But I showed them a way how to go out there and build their business, develop a, a method of prospecting where it's not going to cost you a ton of money. You're not going to have to spend eight, nine, ten thousand dollars to be able to attract all of this potential business. It's very easy. You have the manpower, you have the ability to go out there and just literally make it happen, right? So buying the business, yeah, it can can get you a few deals here and there, but it's not going to allow you to really maximize your time, your effort, your ability to truly have the biggest potential profit margin that you deserve, that you can have, right? Number three, I'm so sick of number three. It's I'm seeing this now happen over and over and over again. It kind of goes with number two, right? But we're seeing even these companies that are going out there and even coaching companies do it and, and other real estate brands. It's just this fear-based marketing saying, oh my gosh, we have this unbelievable technology. We have this unbelievable product. You got to use this. You got to buy into this, right? Or, you know, Look, the market's going to shift, right? And if you want to survive, you got to be able to, to join this company or you got to join in, in this program and you got to be able to get these, you know, these deals. Cause this is the only way that you're going to be guaranteed. And I, I was talking to a guy the other day where he was telling me about what he's considering doing now with his team because he wants to make sure that they're going to be taken care of. And he wanted to really verify that, you know, they, they, they can close X, Y, Z amount of my deals every month. And he was like, look, they're going to close about five deals a month, right? Through this program. And it was a relocation uh, uh, opportunity. And when you look at how much money they have to give off the top, right? It was like 40%. So now you're down to 60. Okay. You had to basically give like 20% back into, uh, to the actual brokerage. So now you're down to 40 and the team, Okay, how to split. So they were now the team members are only going to get 20%. Well, when you look at an average commission, they're making like $1,000 a deal. So yeah, you may be able to close five deals that way, right? But what can you really close if you do it the right way? How much money can you truly make? And that's why I'm so committed. I'm so excited to be able to come in to 
do this class now with you guys in 28 to go into in depth how to go out there and literally you can close just two deals a month you can close 24 deals a year and make five times the amount of money don't fall into fear-based marketing right don't allow yourself to be afraid of what may happen in the market because guess what it's already happening it already has happened in fact at our regional event i brought in okay the top economic advisor for for the florida realtors association I had him come in and literally talk about what's what's expected it's expected to be a great year okay even 2020 okay don't fall into the fear-based marketing now number four the fourth way to go out there and, and 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 get business is to literally go out and get the business don't sit back don't wait for it don't try to buy it don't be you know guilted in or scared into you know through some fear-based marketing effort to try to get business here let's just go out there and get it i mean why can't we just do that right we know that in 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 every market in a down market in an average market in a great market there are agents that are out there that are killing it they're making a great living why because they don't fall into any of this other stuff they go out there every single day they're disciplined they're consistent and they have a plan that works right so my question i asked you earlier on this webinar what are you doing to grow your business what, what did you do yesterday well yesterday was sunday so i'll give you that day off if you have the ability to have a day off but what you do today what you do tomorrow what do you do tomorrow so look here are our, our ways that we can prospect all right number one we can build a massive database a massive database now you know if you've been to any of my other classes in the past i'm a big believer and i'm going to go into this here today a little bit to kind of tease you of what we're going to discuss now on on thursday on the 28th but you must build a massive database now here next to that i have a little star a little asterisk Okay, and if you look down below, you can utilize social media. So in our class on Thursday, on the 28th, I'm going to go in depth into social media. I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to make sure you know really, again, it's not just how to use it, but how to use it the right way. Don't, you know, I see a lot of folks just they automatically post one thing and, and then they post the same thing over again and over again and over again. And it's just boring. Who the heck wants to even follow this uh, individual's uh, account or like their page? So I'm going to show you how to be able to build an audience, how to be able to literally gather and create an actual following, create what Steve Jobs, right? One of the greatest, you know, uh, uh, businessmen in our time always said is, look, it's all about creating raving fans. And I'm going to show you how to do that now through social media. So building a massive database is going to be the key. A second way to go out there and prospect is expired listings, of course, listings that are expired 66% of the time, two thirds, right? Two thirds, right? Two, yeah, two thirds. At seven up there so two-thirds of the time they're gonna relist with a new agent I mean that's highly likely that that you could be that agent hey they obviously the agent they had before could get the job done so it's another great way to prospect for sale by owners take time okay a lot of folks just don't simply lost the screen there a lot of folks simply just don't have the time they don't have the patience they want that quick they want that quick fix they want that you know that 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 instant you know i can't. so it's all about building rapport creating a relationship and being able to you know at some point have the ability to to truly know when is the right time to go in there and actually try to convert that for sale by owner into an actual client next just this is just sold again very easy way to go out there and prospect but you got to know how to do it and so on the 28th on this thursday's class we're going to go into uh, depth and talk about how to actually whether it's through circle prospecting whether it's through you know knocking on doors however you want to do it right what's the best way to actually take advantage of this campaign so let me check to see I know a couple of you are actually sending me some questions right now so I want to see if uh, one of them asked how do I sign up for Thursday's class well I'll show you how to do that at the very end of today so I want to just kind of a uh, Go over his sales funnel here if I can with you. So with the sales funnel, as you can see, the first one here is we want to be able to increase traffic. We want to be able to help you get more leads. So again, I go back to the original slide, one of the original slides. What you do today, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing on Wednesday? What are you doing to generate traffic? All right. So in this, if you kind of follow the sales funnel here, this is exactly kind of in essence the outline of what we're going to be going through 
all day on Thursday. I'm going to show you, teach you how to increase traffic to get more leads. That's, that's, it all starts there. It's like basically, you know, I always compare that to, you know, putting gas in your car. If, if you don't know how to generate traffic or generate leads, it, then it's like not putting gas in your car. Well, what's going to happen? You're eventually going to run out of gas, right? Your car is going to stall out. So I don't want your business to stall out. I want you to be able to be focused, know exactly what to do every single day, every single morning, every single afternoon, how to generate traffic, how to get more leads. The second step there is to be able to increase the effectiveness of your sales process. What do you do? Like if, if you get someone says, you know what, Joe, yeah, you know what, I, I think I know somebody that may want to actually sell their house. Or, you know what, maybe, yeah, we may be looking to maybe buy, you know, a, a bigger house. We want to relocate from one side of town to the other. What do you do? What's, what's the next step? You know, how do you, how do you follow up with them? How do you, you know, create, you know, a, a, a stronger, you know, relationship or, or, or a bond with them? What, what's, what's, what's the next step in your sales process, right? The third one is to increase your sales conversion. So I'm going to go into a little bit here in a moment, some of the, the statistics, some of the stats that we've used, you know, over the last how many years here at La Rosa, um, these numbers that have, have, have been you know the catalyst where i would say or, or you know the, the the key helping us understand where an agent is uh, in their in their career where, where are they struggling right so knowing your numbers your, and your conversion rate is is going to be a really big insight for you as well not, not only for us and we'll go into in depth helping you understand some of these baseline numbers that we've used so how are you with converting leads to appointments and converting appointments you know, into closings. I mean, are you, you know, closing, you know, are you doing 20%? Are you at 30%? Where are you? We're going to help you understand how to increase your sales conversion, how to get more closings. It says there, get more clients, really get more closings, right? Next is to increase your transaction value. So if you want to make 75 grand a year, you want to make 125 grand a year, you want to make 200 grand a year, you got to know your numbers. You got to know exactly, you know, and numbers are the key to everything. And I used to hate numbers in the very, very beginning, but we have to know our numbers. And we have to figure out, you know what, should I expand my, my area? Should I narrow my area down? Who's going to be my target audience so that I can make sure that I am going to get really the best value? So I can make sure that I'm going to be able to earn on average X, Y, Z amount because I need to close 26 transactions to get to my goal. Well, if we do that, right, maybe if you increase the area of, you know, your concentration where the uh, values go up a little bit, maybe now you only have to close 18 or 19. So we're going to help you understand that. We're going to, going to go through that step by step and literally help you build an actual business plan and blueprint in the class. Last, add more value. Follow up. Oh my gosh, I get so frustrated when I talk to agents and I find out that they don't follow up. They just, they just, I don't know what the deal is, right? They'll work, you know, a client. They'll get them closed. They'll, they'll help them find, you know, a home that fits their need, but then they don't follow up with that individual, that family anymore. So we want to be able to teach you how to add value, number one, because you got to be able to stand out because in today's day and age, everybody, you know, if you look just on the street where I live, probably down my block, there's five realtors that live there, right? So how are you going to be able to stand out and add more value? So we're going to go into depth into showing you different things that you should be doing, that you could be doing, that you need to be doing, and then we're going to teach you how to follow up, right? To be able to give more, be able to add have ha added the most amount of value that you can possibly add, right? So here are some interesting statistics. So I saw today an email uh, that came out saying, you know what, you know, Joe, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm confused. I don't even know really what I should be doing daily. Like how many people should I be conversing with or, or you know, how do I, you know, go out there and, and, and know that if I need to close 18 transactions, like what do I do daily? I'm like, well, you got to sign up for the class on the 20 and into depth with here. So look, we've talked about this many times. I'm a big believer in Mike Ferry. Mike, Mike Ferry has been one of the greatest real estate coaches of our time. He's been doing this now for longer than I've probably been alive, right? So over 40 something years, he's been a real estate coach and he's stuck by these numbers. And every time I've done to do it now, and every time we do a class similar to what we're going to do now on Thursday, and we go into prospecting, the numbers pretty much are, are consistent. So let's look at what Mike talks about. Mike says that, listen, it's going to take 120 calls. And calls can be conversations. They can be knocking on doors. They can be meet people out there on the street. They can just be having 
a, a conversation asking for a referral, asking for business, right? So it'll take about 120 of these conversations for you to be able to get one closing. Now, some of you are going to freak out and say, whoa, forget this. I'm going to go buy these ads. I'm going to go sign up here and get these relocation deals. And I'm going to go and I'm going to go do this and that because that's a lot of conversations. Well, look, right? You, you, you got to work for a living. This is, this is, you know, this is going to require hard work. But remember where your focus goes, your energy flows. If you're going to focus on 120 conversations and you're not going to take the time to figure out how can this be done? How can I accomplish this? Well, guess what? You're, you're headed in the wrong direction, right? Let me just say it like that. I'll tell you more on Thursday, really what I really feel. But here's the deal. Look, if, if you were to basically want to figure out a way, right, so that you can basically close just, you know, one deal a month, that's going to get you 12 a year. So if you did 120 of those conversations every single month, that's going to get you to about 12 closings a year, right? Well, guess what? I want to be, I want to help you overachieve because to me, it's not really overachieving. It's still probably even underachieving. I want to get you to closing, not just 12, not just 18. I want you to get to 24. So Joe, how can I get to 24 closings a year? Because I'm still stuck on that number of 120 conversations before I get one closing. So that means I got to do 120. It's 240 every single month for 12 months out of the year to get 24. How is that even? possible well let me walk you through it right so let's relax working month there's 20 calendar days right now depending on the month right sometimes it's going to be 21 22 but let's just be conservative and let's just say 20. so if it's 20 right that means that if you broke down if you had to close you had to have 240 conversations i want to get you to 24 now hopefully i didn't lose you there with those numbers but if you had 240 conversations that you got to have this month and you're going to divide that by 20 Simple math is basically 12 people a day. So these are the numbers that we've used now for since the beginning of Larosa Coaching and the beginning of us really get into you know into depth with our agents, helping them build out their their business plan and understanding their numbers. We've used this ratio since then, 12 to 1. It's what Mike Ferry uses, right? The guy's been doing it for long since I've been alive. So obviously it works, it's consistent, and so on. So for 12 conversations a day that you'll have. You'll generate one lead, one lead a day. Three, what time is it now? 3.15, whatever time it is, 3.20, okay? What have you done today to generate one lead? So I asked you before, what are you doing to grow your business? But let's get more in depth here. Have you been able to generate one lead today? A real lead? Have you been able to generate a lead maybe this past Friday, last Friday, or on Thursday, or on Wednesday? Follow this simple, simple plan of having 12 conversations a day and you'll be able to get one lead. Now, let's move a little bit further along. So if you're able to do this every single day, and let's just say you're going to work Monday through Friday, you're going to just, you know, work, you know, nine to five or whatever time you want to set, unrealistic for realtors, I know I get it. But let's just say we did that, right? Five leads a week are going to, Mike Ferry talks about that the conversion rate is about 20%. So remember before in my, in my sales funnel, I talked about, you know, Conversion. So here's here's an example. This is a baseline number that we use too as well. So 20 percent. So if I get five leads, does not mean that I'm going to have five closings now. It just means that out of those five, one of those five, I'm actually going to be able to get them to, you know, allow me to come visit them and do a listing presentation. Let me take them out to go look at some properties. That is what we consider as an appointment. If you did that now, okay, generated. A lead a day, if five leads for the week, and you basically are converting 20%, which is average. Okay, you're at now one appointment a week. How many of you went on an appointment last week? How many of you took out buyers this past weekend? How many of you went on a listing appointment in the last week? Now, if you did, great, that's awesome. I'm going to be able to help you double and triple that. But if you hadn't, if you did it two weeks ago or a month ago, and you want to do it on a consistent basis, follow this system. So if you're able to do this, you'll have at least one appointment a week. Now, Mike also talks about that. Now, your conversion rate can get higher and better for you. So as you now are, are meeting these folks, because converting them from a lead to an appointment is, is probably one of the most challenging things because you're really going to have to be able to establish rapport, be able to add value, show what your value is, and be able to really gain their trust. So if you're able to do all that, which I will, again, teach you how to do that if you come on 28th, 
But if you're able to do that, Mike says that your conversion rate is about 50%. Again, okay, better numbers. So that means now if you're able to get four appointments, because you're getting one a week, okay, four in, in the month, that means you should now be able to close two deals, two contracts now that you'll be able to execute and close in the month. Guess what? That equals 24 closings for the year, okay? So let's look at, right, the average home sale price in Central Florida is $235,000. Now, I know that varies throughout the state and even out of the state as well. You know, our, our, our folks in California are going to be at numbers almost five times that amount, okay? In New York, it could be double that, okay? In South Florida, maybe a little bit higher. So I wanted to use Central Florida as a conservative example, okay? So with the average commission being at 3%, that means you're going to be earning $7,000 per deal, 7050 to be exact. Okay, so if you're able to close 24 deals following this system, okay, being disciplined, holding yourself accountable, then that means that at 24 deals times $7,050, that's $169,000. It's, you know, when you go back and you look at, you know, agents right now, and, and, and I have the you know, opportunity of seeing, you know, what is the top 20% of our company doing? What's the top 10% of our company doing? If we can show our agents how to be able to follow this system and be able to apply the, the strategies that we want to go into depth and, and, and go detail by detail into on Thursday, if you can put this in action, okay, there is no reason why 80% of our company, if not even more, can do this right here. If we can do that, that's obviously going to be unbelievable. And, and I, I'm, a, I'm a true believer and I'm going to be – so I'm blue in the face and just all my hair is gone and everything else. I'm because sure, I know this can happen, but we have to obviously be able to help realtors understand that they just can't wait for it. They can't buy it and they can't be scared into some other crazy program that's going to help them get there. Because I go back to that relocation example from earlier, the folks that are going to be on that type of a deal, they're going to be making, you know, 30 something thousand dollars compared to, you know, making $169,000. Don't fall into this trap. So let's build your blueprint with your numbers. And we're going to do that again. And on the 28th, we're going to understand what's the formula for success. Everybody will have a different definition of success. Some folks may just want to close eight deals this year. Some folks may want to close 36 deals this year. Well, let's understand really what are your goals, what are your numbers that you want to be able to achieve. And we're going to build a blueprint around your numbers. So I go back to this kind of sales funnel. So if you're going to get anything out of today, know that this is probably one of the most important things. If you're going to try to wing this and do this on your own, which, listen, you might be able to, you can't, right? Nothing, nothing wrong with that, okay? If anything, take a screenshot right now. Take your camera out, do whatever, because this is probably one of the most important tools or kind of the outline that you should have if you're looking to build your business. So on, on Thursday, when we go into this, we're going to help you, again, like I said before, help you understand how to gain, get more traffic, how to be able to get more leads, how to just increase your effectiveness of your sales process. And you need to kind of go deep and be honest with yourself. How are you on the phone? How are you building rapport? How are you when you get a buyer out there to go show homes? Like what's, what is it that's working for you and what's not, right? That's all part of the sales process, right? And the conversion is, is also understanding your numbers. Where are you? Are you at, you know, 10%? From your leads to appointment, you're not at 20%, you're below the baseline. Well, that should be a kind of a tip or kind of a red flag or, you know, should it be an indicator for you that, hey, let's look at what are you doing wrong? So we'll be able to help you understand that more on Thursday, identify some areas of weakness. And like anything else, you know, don't shy away from your weaknesses. Let's go ahead and get better. Let's get stronger. Okay. Help you increase your transaction value, show you how that's very important. When we build out your, your business plan and your blueprint, and we show you exactly how many competitions a day that you should be having. Some of you may be like, you know what? If I can broaden my 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 area of focus, I may not have to close or speak to 18 people a day because some folks may have to. Maybe I only have to talk to nine a day. And that's really, and we break it down with each individual. Some folks are blown away. Like, I don't have to talk to seven people a day. I can do that. I can go to Starbucks and talk to six, right? So really important part of it. Next is being able to add more value. We'll go into that literally our entire Do It Now series, but we'll go into it. Obviously, we'll spend a, a certain amount of time 
I'm going to that on, on Thursday as well. So other key topics that we're going to be discussing are going to be social media, how to use it, right? How to use Instagram, right? Should I use hashtags on Facebook? Should I do Facebook Live? Um, what's this video marketing? Is it important to, to, to take advantage of YouTube today? Or what's, what's Snapchat? My kids are always posting pictures of themselves and all kind of weird angles. And can I use that for my business? How does that work? All right. Well, listen, technology is a big thing and social media is a really big thing. It's a trending thing. It literally changes. I can do a class on this about every month and every month it's going to change. So we're going to kind of introduce you to some really key talking points of social media, how to use it the right way. And then we're going to point you in the right direction so that you can be able to continue to stay on top of this ever, you know, growing, evolving uh, part of our business. All right. Time management. A lot of folks just get they get, they lose their momentum. They just something happens. They get distracted. They whatever else, and and they just you know they just lose their momentum. So we're gonna go into a very simple way of managing your time. I've done this. It's changed my my life, my business. In you know, not just talking about your miracle mornings or just focus. It, it's it's a very simple process that I do daily, every single day. I'm very disciplined with it, and it allows me to be able to stay on top of. My schedule and be able to get the things done that I need to get be able to get done. People always ask, "How do you do it with 2,200 agents and seven different businesses and you know five kids, four dogs, and all this stuff? How do you do it?" It's 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 a very simple system that I've been able to apply in my life. So I'm going to be able to go into that with you guys on on 28th. How to take action? You know, in my in my initial do it now day one, we it's all about you know where your focus goes, your your conscious, your subconscious mind. And so we'll go into a little bit of, of that kind of recapping just maybe for a few moments, but really, you know, in this class, and, and, and I say this with a little bit of hesitancy because I know that in times in the past when we've done a three-day do-it-now workshop, right, day three's always been about, hey, we're going to prospect live in the class, right? Well, in, in that setting, you know, a three-day program, you know, you have like 80 to 100 people there day one, 80 to 100 people day two. Day three, they know that we're going to be doing some prospecting, right? We usually only have about half. So I'm telling you this now not to scare you because only the strong will survive, right? It's been a saying. It's been around for a long time. So I, I hope every one of you that are out there right now on this webinar believe that you are one of the stronger ones, right? You're going to be doing live prospecting in class. You're actually going to be asking people for the business. And I can promise you this. I promise you this. You can go on our Facebook page at Little Realty and see from the past whenever we've done this. People walk out with leads. They walk out with leads. So what are you doing? What are you doing the rest of today or tomorrow? I have, I've asked that question now a million times, like, like, like it's a broken record. So in this class, we're going to help you and help you understand how to go out there and take action because I'm going to be out there next to you, supporting you, kind of pushing you through so that you can actually walk out with some business. So some other key topics, we're going to help you refine your brand. I have a cool little exercise, something brand new that we're going to be adding into this uh, segment of our Do It Now series and helping you understand not just about developing your purpose. We talked about that in the original Do It Now and how that really can become part of your brand. But we're going to help you refine your purpose. You know, you know, presentation, somebody in less than two minutes, and they're going to know, man, my gosh, you know, this person here has value. I want to work with them. So we're excited to be able to kind of come to you now, now with this new exercise that will help you right there in the class refine your brand, help you again, refine your goals. Your goals should be always evolving, okay? Once you achieve something right here, don't be happy here, raise it. Let's keep raising the bar, keep raising, raising that ceiling. So we gotta help you be able to, to refine your goals. So we're gonna help you with that as well. And then of course, we're gonna be able to identify your skills, because before we talked about identifying some of your weaknesses, but we wanna help you now be able to sharpen your skills, being able to allow you to keep being able to grow and evolve and become a better and better agent, better and better realtor. So here's a really important question. What are two solid leads worth to you? Okay, now I've asked this again, what you do yesterday or Friday or today, or if you haven't done anything, right, and you like to get two leads, two good quality leads, what is it worth to you, right? I know some folks will pay a crazy amount of money because they'll sign up and they'll do God knows whatever else to get business, but what is it worth to you, right? Are they worth $25, $25? So, you know, we, we never really in the past would like to charge for it to do it now, but we got to have folks kind of have 
There's some skin in the game here. You know, we gotta have them have something now that they're gonna commit to and also helping us pay for some of the facilities, right? So we do a lot here at La Rosa. I hope you see that and appreciate that. But is it worth $25 to be able to get two leads? I mean, let's do the math on that, right? Some folks are spending $750 and wasting their time and kind of going in circles and circles and circles. So to me, I think it absolutely is. So one last thing, is a $25 investment worth $169,000? Because look, if you, and I say this not to be cocky or overconfident, but I'm just a believer. I'm a, I'm a believer in, in you know, the strategies that I'm going to be unveiling and, and presenting to all of you on 28th. If you put these into action and you're disciplined and you're committed and you're passionate, you know what your goals are, you're fo focused, you've refined your, 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 your brand and, and you've been able to manage your time now and you've been able to take this now and put it into action every single day, you'll get to closing 24 deals a year. Don't buy into the fear-based marketing. Like, I got to go over here. I got to get this. I got to go work, you know, and this split here. Look, I'm giving you 100% commission. I'm giving you every opportunity to maximize every dollar amount that you should be able to earn. Okay, so is it worth $25? Well, I hope that it is. So if it is, here's what you got to do. If you haven't yet done so already, look at the bottom. See where it says there, joelarosa.com slash workshops. Okay. Go so in there's $25 to come. So if you show up, okay, you'll be able to use the promo code that's right there. It's FPG Agent. Okay, don't freak out about whatever price that you see. We do charge folks from the outside. So yes, we have KW agents and other agents that want to come in and actually take advantage. So they're not with La Rosa. So I'm going to charge them a little bit more than when I'm going to charge, obviously, our own family. So it's $25. Probably just cover the cost of the facilities. Use this promo code here, FPG Agent. If you want to attend all of our workshops, in fact, we're going to be adding, we haven't yet done so already. I want to say we're adding at least three or four more classes to our entire calendar here for the year. So I'm really excited. Just got now certified with the John Maxwell organization. And we have some new classes now that I'm going to be able to bring to, uh, to La Rosa. So um, if you want to do the whole season, you can do so as well. Use the promo code FPG agent, and that will be $99. You want to just do one class, get a feel for it, come out on Thursday, it's $25. So what's that worth? Is it worth two leads? Is that an investment worth $169,000? I would hope that you see that it is. So, all right, well, listen, I appreciate everyone's time today. I know we have a couple of folks that have some questions. So if I could uh, take a look at here what are our questions in our chat section. Oh, that was actually just from Brian Kirkwood, just reiterating, putting it there in the chat the actual link so you can click right on to there and uh to register is 25 bucks like i just said for the whole season it's 99 dollars and there are a total of nine workshops the so nine classes you can get for 99 dollars. you can do the math there and figure out that's obviously a pretty good deal so uh there are no other questions i appreciate everyone's time today um look this is just kind of a teaser come on thursday come on 28th register before it's too late we only are going to have a certain amount of, of, of seats available and I want to get everybody there. And then we're going to be excited. We're going to have fun. We'll play some music. We're going to, you're going to walk out with leads. That's, that's a really awesome thing. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there on, uh, on Thursday the 28th. So take care, everyone.